the second part of lecture 4, we will be looking at the column generation algorithm, understanding the concepts and how to apply it to solve our passenger mix flow problem. We'll start by discussing why the column generation algorithm should be considered when solving real size problems, followed by an overview of what is the column generation algorithm and an illustrative representation on how to use this algorithm to solve our passenger mix flow problem. In the last video lecture, we discussed the key path formulation of the passenger mix flow problem. We came to the conclusion that the model resulting from this formulation was of the same size as one followed by the standard formulation, which, in fact, was easier to understand than the key path formulation. So why do we do formulate our problem as such? Let's first discuss the challenge of computing a solution for the passenger mix flow problem. With both formulations, the standard one and key path one, the computational time needed to obtain a solution to a real size problem can be very high. We can solve our linear programming model using a commercial LP solver. But when we address problems with several hundreds of uh, flights, with a few uh, number of fair classes and many possible itineraries, the model explodes in size. In the example given in this slide, which is not necessarily a very large uh, problem, we can be talking about more than 600 million decision variables and about 800 megabytes of memory for each solution that we need to store. This can raise computational challenges, both in terms of memory but also computational speed. This is even worse in the case that we want to have our decision variables as integers. So how can we address this challenge? And how can we use the key path formulation to help us? Okay, so let's follow the general goal of breaking down our problem into a set of small and easier to solve problems. In general, a divide and conquer approach is always a good way to address large and complex problems. We know that in most problems, especially the ones with many decision variables, a large number of these variables are not used in the final solution. That is, most of the decision variables will be non-basic and assume a value of zero in the optimal solution. So why do we consider all of them when we formulate our problem? It seems a waste of computational power and focus. And that's exactly the idea behind column generation. Each decision variable is a column in our linear programming tableau, so the goal will be to generate columns only when we need them. So, if we know how to generate these columns, running simple problems in an iterative process, we can start with a small, feasible and manageable version of our problem and gradually add a limited number of columns to it until we find the optimal solution. If we want to see this approach in a graphical way, we can imagine our tableau being split into two sets of columns. The ones that we are using to solve our problem and the remaining columns that we are not using at all. In most cases, the decision variables that we are not considering are completely unknown to us, and we have to generate them when solving each iteration of our algorithm. In other cases, like the passenger mix flow problem that we are discussing in this lecture, we do know all the possible decision variables, but we opt not to add them all so that the problem we are solving is much smaller than the one with all decision variables. The problem formulated with only the columns being considered at any iteration of our column generation algorithm, we call it the Restricted Master Problem, or RMP. In every iteration of our problem, we check if new columns should be added to the RMP in order to improve the quality of the solution that we have obtained so far. Ideally, by solving our optimization problem like this, we leave many columns out which we'll never consider speeding up the computational time of our optimization problem. This is because in each iteration we solve a RMP version that is much smaller and easier to solve than the original problem with all columns included. But how it works to solve the passenger mix flow problem following the key path formulation? We have to initiate our column generation algorithm with a set of columns that guarantee the existence of an initial feasible solution. The key path formulation provides us with an easy option to define this initial set of columns. We can assume that all passengers are allocated to their key path. 
if there is capacity in their key pads, these passengers will not be considered at all in our formulation. However, some of the passengers will face flights with capacity lower than the demand. So we'll focus only on these ones that have to be spilled from their key path. In this initial formulation of the problem, we'll consider the decision variables that reflect the spillage of these passengers that experience a lack of capacity in their flights to the fleet issues itinerary. And only this limited number of decision variables are considered in our initial formulation. This set of decision variables guarantees that a feasible solution can be obtained by spilling some of the passengers to this fictitious itinerary. However, this solution will be, in principle, a poor solution. Many passengers will be spilled. So the next step is to analyze if there are reallocation decision variables that can help us to improve our solution, involving many passengers being spilled from one itinerary to another itinerary and reducing the cost of spillage. We'll solve what is called a pricing problem to check if new decision variables have to be added. And ones that prove to have a good impact in our objective function, we add it to our RMP and resolve our problems again. Followed by the pricing problem and eventually the selection of new columns to be added, and we repeat this process until no more columns need to be added to improve our solution and we obtain the optimal solution for our initial problem. In the next video, we'll discuss exactly how to use this algorithm in more detail. But let's see how this could work on our passenger mix flow problem using a representation of a schematic problem involving 10 flights and 15 itineraries. In this slide, I try to represent the case in which we include all the decision variables in our uh, formulation. Be aware that I don't represent all columns because that there could be hundreds of uh, recapture possibilities in our problem. So I opt only to show a limited number of columns related to the spillage, to the fictitious, and initial set of 13 possible reallocation uh, options. But imagine that there are many more columns on the right side of the tableau, just before the right-hand side column of our tableau. If we solve this problem using the column generation algorithm, we can limit our initial problem to have at most only the columns regarding the spillage to the fictitious itinerary. So all columns hidden with a grey uh, box are not given to the model. The model does not know the existence of these uh, decision variables. We then solve this problem only with these spillage options and get information that would allow us to know which columns to add to our RMP in the next iteration. In this example, we determine that the decision variables that give us the possibility to reallocate passengers from itinerary 1 to itinerary 4 and from 4 to 12 are the columns to add, keeping the other columns not considered in our model. This way, we are keeping the problem small, solving it iteratively and hopefully very fast in each iteration. In the next video lecture, we'll discuss in detail how to implement algorithm and how to solve a small problem. So I'll see you there. Bye-bye.